Lesson 4, Drawing with MFC. To prepare for this tutorial, download the MFC Lesson 1 project code from zoax.net. In this tutorial, you will learn how to draw lines and circles in MFC. Open up the project from our MFC Lesson 1 tutorial. Double-click the Lesson 1 view.cpp file and scroll down to the OnDraw function. This is where we will put our drawing code so that it shows up the entire time the program is running. This function, when created by the app wizard, only checks that a document exists and then exits. We will leave that and add our code below it. One thing that we have to do before writing any code is to uncomment the device context object, PDC, that gets passed into this function. This object represents the view client area of our application and we'll use it to write our drawing objects into. Now let's first draw a red circle. We will need the color red to put into a pen to draw with, so we will create a color ref typed variable and set it equal to red by calling the RGB macro and passing in RGB values of 255 for red, 0 for green, and 0 for blue. Then we will statically create a C pen object and pass in three parameters. The type of pen, we'll choose the standard solid line, the width of the pen tip in pixels, and the color to draw with. Then we will select our pen object into the PDC object. Now when we draw into the device context, it will use the pen we just created. Also, the select object function returns the pen that had been in the device context. We will save this pen so that we can replace it when we are done drawing. To make a circle or ellipse, we call the ellipse function of the PDC object. This will render an object into the view's client area. The first two numbers specify the left top corner of a box, which will surround the circle, but won't show up when we draw it. We put in 100 and 100 so that the circle will be 100 pixels from the top and 100 pixels from the left of the view's client area. The third and fourth numbers specify the right bottom corner of the drawing box and our circle will be drawn inside it. If we build and run the program right now, we can see that our circle is drawn in the client area of our application. Now let's make a blue line. We again statically make a color ref typed variable and pass in the RGB value of 255 for blue and 0 for red and green. Then we create another pen to draw our line width. We will choose the same standard solid line type, the same width, and then our blue color. Then we select our pen object into the device context. The current pen that gets passed back from the select object function here is our red pen, so we don't need to keep a pointer to it. Then we need to move the cursor to a position in the view's client area. This will be where the line starts. We'll choose 100, 100 so that our line will be drawn on top of our circle. Then we need to call the line to function to specify an endpoint for the line. Our program will now draw a line from the coordinates we passed into the move to function to the coordinates we passed into the line to function. The last thing to do is to call select object again and pass in the original pen. Now when we run our program, we will see a blue line on top of a red circle. This concludes the lesson.